So this is something new in C++ and this is from C++ 17. So what is this string view? Basically we know like what is this std, the traditional string, right? We already know what is this string as tr meaning. So this is your std string, traditional string, correct? If I initialize it with let's say Rupesh and then maybe if I initialize this str into let's say same data type str1 is equal to str. If I do this, it's just copying to another std string str1. The same size will be copied into this, meaning we have to create a new object and the same thing will be copied here. I do not want this or in order to understand this little better, there should be a way because see, this is one string constructed on let's say some memory block, let's say zero cross one. Okay. And this address is there, maybe zero cross, I don't know, something. And we are just simply existing. So this is existing. Now what I want is I want to do hell lot of operations on this stored string, but I don't want to copy or make so many objects out of it and do these operations. Like if I want to find or to say like, uh, I want to get a substring, like say if I want to get like last three characters from here to here, I don't want this to get constructed again. If I say dot substring and get me the last three characters. No, I don't want that. I just want, there should be a way if I say sub str zero to three, then it should be able to tell me like from zero, I will give you this one, this one and this one, but I won't create an extra memory. I will just give you a view. And from that view, you should be able to see only these three initial characters like RUP and that view, whatever I will return, that won't be a new memory constructed string. That view would somehow point to this originally constructed memory. So basically it's like once you create some string and then later you can do so many operations on those strings without having to copy them, without having to waste so much of memory. So let's try to understand this with some example. So let's quickly see that we have this piece of code here. This is a traditional string. We just create this string and whenever we'll create this string, this overloaded new operator will be called and then we will have this printed like it is allocating uh, how much memory and all that. Okay. So if we are constructing this and then copying this into this, into this, into this. So like we are constructing three times, right? And then I'll just simply print it. So let's just simply compile it and just run this. And let me show you that. See, it is saying allocated 32, 32, 32. And then we'll just simply printing hello. This is CPV nuts three times. So you notice that I am printing it. I mean, allocating memory three times. What I told you, right? Like there should be a way to just should be able to view that memory, not recreate it. So if we will use this string view, this is not going to copy that entire stuff. See this time it is just allocated 32, meaning one time. It is not three times. It's just here. It is just simply copied here. And I can do this sub str like from zero to let's say five, then we will get this hello from this str one to str two and then str two to str three but it will be just acting as a view. We will not construct any memory or anything like that. Let's just see that. I'll just compile this. And if I execute, see it is still allocated one time. And then see, we have just hello and hello in this str2 and str3 because we are printing them here. But see, there is only one allocation. There are three different variables. And so it's like just a view. It's, it's a window sort of thing, which you get in order to access something which is created already somewhere else. So this is the main purpose. So now you see the power here. If you take any string in some function as a parameter like a string view, because see before the C++ 17, people used to do this by themselves, like saying that, okay, I won't change this string. I just kind of want a window so that I can 
do some sort of operations on these strings but i'm i'm not going to change this string so what they used to do they used to use constant string ref okay but then also for that as well you have to pay the burden to create a string okay so now you see this beautifully like see you are saying that str1 dot sub str and this str2 is just pointing from here to here without actually constructing it so how does it do that basically string view needs two things the starting pointer of the memory like from where it has to start and what is the size meaning how much it have to point meaning what is the window so for this str2 and str3 window is this much only hello is the window that much only it can see so i will repeat again string view just need the starting pointer of that memory so it will point this whole thing from the starting and then it will tell you like what is the size okay so size is 5 i told you right size is 5 so it will just have window till this much this is the only crux and then it's up to you like how you are going to use it there are so many ways you can use this so whatever the functions available inside this string are also available in string view all those things you can do in a string view also and this string view is a constant data type it is not going to modify this anyway okay it's just a view it will have a window to actually see this but it won't be able to modify so this is available in c++ 17 this is really very beautiful i love it because so many people need this generally what happens if you are dealing with some string let's say there is this a string here generally this is observed that you don't want to change this string but you want to do some operations on this string maybe you want uh, this much part of this string sometime and then you want to do something else but you you really don't want to change this particular string this is like a, acting like a constant to you so why would you go ahead and create an extra overhead or a create extra memory for that no don't need don't do that and that's why c++ 17 gives you this feature i think this is really very beautiful feature let me know in the comment section what do you feel about this feature and i'll see you in the next videos thank you bye bye